What's up guys? How's it going? Today, I am going to touch on a very controversial subject. Um, some of you may not watch the channel anymore after I go over this and give my opinions. It's just been weighing heavy on my mind lately. And I know there's a lot of people that are really going to vehemently, is that a word? Vehemently? No. <laughs> vehemently? Vehemently. <laughs> And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with what I'm going to talk about. And uh, to help me talk about this, I have brought my good friend Carl to help me discuss what I'm going to discuss. What's up, guys? Carl here. Dave asked me to come help you show you how to tie down that darn dare machine. So I'm going to show you how that darn dare machine ties down with some little ratchety rat straps right there. Right there. See those? Those are gonna be the key to this big video. All right, let's do it. Okay, the first thing you need to do, is you need to get some of these ratchet straps here. Make sure you get some that are untangled. We got it, we got it. Let me show you what you do. You're gonna take this, and you're gonna loop her around here. And you're just gonna stick her out right there. And take this other thing. Find yourself a good shot on the trailer. That looks good. Just crank her down. So you can't do it no more. And when you get it like that, you go, that'll hold. We got a problem here. See this? We got a long strap. We're gonna take it. What I usually like to do is I just wrap around here a few times and make sure for aerodynamic size this end pointing that way. And you send it down the road just like that. If you don't like that, take her and throw her in the car. Oh, this is even better. You just throw it in there. Close the door. She ain't going nowhere, guys. That's step number one. That's the one way to do it. I'll show you another way. All right. Another way we like to do this back home in Alabama, Indiana, Georgia, wherever I have some view from. Take your ratchet strap, make it good and long. We're gonna take this thing. I've seen lots of people do this on the Facebook interwebs. Take this, and you just throw her on the other side. <laughs> We're gonna go out here, we gotta make sure we're strapped up good. This looks good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop her there and hope she stays when I go to the other side. She stayed, good. There we go. Let's uh, strap her right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we jammed up a bit. Oh, there we go. Careful, you don't want to crush your doors here, so you just strap her down lightly. You don't want to hurt it. That's gonna hold. Perfect. Guaranteed. Okay, so that's two good ways to tie this thing down, so she ain't going nowhere. One of my personal favorites is this right here. You just take this, from right there, we're gonna strap her. Uh oh, neighbor's home. He could learn a thing or two. We're just gonna strap her from there. Right to here. Put one on the other side, and she's gonna be mint. Alright, 
right, here's way number four. We're gonna take the winchy winch. Not the winch, the winch. Some of you people are dumb and call this a winch. I've seen it on Facebook. Oh, yeah. you pull that out. <laughs> Got you. We're actually gonna put it right there. No, well, slide. Um, hmm, well, I never done it this idiot way before, but I've seen it happen. Right there. <laughs> Bonus. That's gonna be great. <laughs> and you just. I can't see a thing. I don't know what she's doing here. Is it going in? Oh, no, it's not. I did that another idiot thing. I didn't lock my winch. I mean, my winch. There we go. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna use the winch. She tight. She real tight. <laughs> Now, if you noticed, we only tied down the front end. We don't need to tie down the back end. It don't matter. It ain't going anywhere. It'll bounce around a little bit maybe, but it don't matter, I promise. Take it from the Facebook expert. It's golden. No worries. Carl's an idiot. Sorry, guys. I thought he would be a little more helpful than what he was, but he's really not. Uh, Anyways, just having a little bit of fun. Uh, yeah, probably don't use your winch. Probably don't loop her over the doors. What else did I do? I don't know. From the roll cage down to the front. This is meant, guys, to just kind of be a, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of new people getting into this. And there's, a, I see, I honestly see these exact things on Facebook when people are like, got my new machine, and they've got it tied down in all kinds of different ways. So, just a real basic overview. I'm not claiming to be like the know-it-all or anything, but I know what works and I know what is dumb. So I'll show you a couple different ways and we'll just go from there. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use these ones in this example. And with my machine, I can actually lock right onto this A-arm because I don't have the uh, sway bar on here but it's best to be able to tie all four corners down. So I'm just gonna go from there to there. Crank that side down. You can do the same on the other here. But the best thing is if you can get away from strapping above the spring, it really helps to keep everything in position and not moving around. So crank her there, then we'll put two more on the back side and she'll be locked down good. Not going anywhere. So on the back side with my machine, it's real simple here. So I got a receiver hitch there. And I can lock right onto there and lock right onto some D-rings I installed here. I mean, most trailers have places you can hook on to. Obviously, it goes without saying to not go to Harbor Freight and buy their lightest weight straps you can get there because they're kind of junk. But get some that are rated for the weight you need. And if you're, if you're strapping it down like this on all four corners, you gotta really crank this thing down like a lot. Otherwise you'll end up with straps that come off. And I've lost a few straps before, but you get the front and the back tied down pretty good. And you really, and doing it like this, you have to really compress the springs and get them down good. Otherwise, you know, these things can come loose. That really hurt, I've cut that part out. All right guys, the number one best way I think there is to tie down a machine, people disagree all the time, is to strap the tires down. Forget about putting four 
cross straps and all that other garbage on this machine. And then you got to deal with loose ends of straps and all that. This is the best, most simple way to do it. There's lots of different companies that provide products, Mac tie downs. These are Ericsson straps that I got on Amazon and these work awesome. Let me show you. It's literally clip that in there, come around to the other side. Clip that in there. Make sure you got your strap over the center of the tire. And there's the front, one side on the front. And we come to the back. Put the back. These 32 inch tires are kind of right at the edge of what's possible with these ones. There are other companies out there that make them for bigger tires. Get her centered. And there's that side. And just repeat on the other side, get all four done. And I have found this to be the most secure way you can strap down a machine. It doesn't go anywhere. Once you get four of them on there, let the machine suspension do its work. Tires are secure. This thing doesn't go anywhere. I already said that. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's basically it. These are awesome. They tie the machine down great. Put one on each tire. I think two straps is rated for like 1,500 pounds. So you really need all four straps to get the most secure tie down possible. Um, make sure after 100 miles or so you stop. Just check everything out. Um, make sure your tailgate's secure. Make sure you don't leave your flag on there. You know, different things. So this, this video is really geared toward those guys who have never done this before. I see it a lot. So uh, I think that's about it. As you can see, we still have the machine. Haven't sold it yet. That's coming up. I got uh, one more project with another company coming up that I need the machine for. So it'll be probably a month or so before we list this one for sale. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So anyways, guys, pick up your trash, pack it out. Don't be a douche. Don't be a Carl. <laughs>